Hello friends, in today's video I will be unboxing this beautiful subscription box from Archer and Olive and I'm going to be showing you everything that comes in this box. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Belinda. I'm the founder of Organizing Bless Mom and I'm back with another creative idea. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll know when a new video is posted. Well friends, I asked you on Instagram whether you wanted to see a detailed unboxing and you said yes. So here we go. We're going to dive into this beautiful subscription box. This is the September 2023 subscription box for Archer and Olive. It is called Vintage Library. So it has all kinds of beautiful things with this book Theme. So I could not uh, pass up the opportunity to just have this box um, come. So I am subscribed and they do give you the chance to opt out if you don't want to get the box. Um, they kind of give you the theme and a little bit of a sneak peek sometimes. So I said yes and here it is. So to start off with, um, it does come with this beautiful, um, I think there is a code here I can't show, but it has this beautiful card and it's all, you know, this vintage library feel. Look at how beautiful those books look. Um, I love this card and here in the back it has just more information on the different things that it has. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way and then we'll see each uh, different item one by one. All right, first up is uh, this oversized binder clips. So let's see how many we have in this beautiful little box. So we got two humongous, um, they're almost the size here of my palm. And I'm guessing we could use this, you know, to uh, hold our our notebooks open or just for decorative purpose um, they're beautiful they have a just a rustic kind of look to them and um, they do come too in the box so those are really cute to use in photos or even you know in your books or your journals Next up is this rotating date stamp and it does have an ink pad. So let's see this. I did take a little peek here. So it's a really pretty like library style stamp. It has really nice um, just, you know, your three digit month and then your two digit day and then your year. Let's see, so it does go from 2023 to 2033. Wow, that's a long time. Um, so, what, 10 years? Wow, that's, that, that's a lot of use from this one stamp. And then it does have, let me open this up really quick because I would like to try it out. Um, I do have, I like these little stamps. I like to use them sometimes in my journaling i do have this journal book um, that i'm reading and every time i read that journal book um what is it that journal book called it's like the weekly purpose project book and in there let's see let's do september 1 or something like that well september 10th and um so let's try it. In that in that journal book that I am doing, I always stamp the date. Wow, nice impression. Look at that. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five. It didn't really start fading until I got to like the fifth. Very, very good. Um, let me show you up close. So it does have this little bitty ink pad that's super cute. And this is how the date looks right there nice and sharp um, just kind of like a very classic typewriter style I would say kind of a font so perfect for this library theme next up we have these new calliograph uh, what are called water-based ink markers 
So it has mocha, golden brown, yellow ochre. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Slate blue and umber. So really beautiful fall colors. So let's see if we can open these. So sometimes it's a little tricky to open these boxes, but let's wash them and see. They're so pretty, aren't they? Look at how I love the way they have their little um, symbol logo. Let's try. So they are dual tip. There's a fine and a broad tip. Let's see what we got. Okay. So this looks like it is the slate blue. Let me try the, the other side. Wow. These glide really, really, really well. Really nice. Beautiful blue. Beautiful fall blue. Here, uh, oh, they don't have the name on the outside. Let's try this brown looking one. This must be umber because it's like a darker kind of a brown. This brown is beautiful. I, I really like this one. Let's see what do we have here. It looks like a, like a golden. Oh, I wonder if that's golden brown or yellow ochre. Hmm. I'm going to say this. Well, let's try. Let's try the other one. Because it doesn't have... Yeah, this totally is the yellow. So this has to be the golden... Golden brown. Beautiful brown just beautiful these markers write so smooth and this one must be the yellow ochre beautiful yellow really really nice colors for fall and then this must be mocha i love a really pretty brown i love neutral colors and I know I'm going to be using these in my in my memory journal. I love to use different colors in my memory journal. And um, these are the colors. Let me go ahead and show them to you here up close. So we have the slate blue, the umber, the golden brown, the yellow ochre, and the mocha. Beautiful. My favorite definitely are all these. And the blue is not bad either. Up next, one of my favorite things, this is the decorative tape or the four washi tapes that come with this collection. Oh, I can't wait. They're so cute. I love a good washi tape. Washi tape goes so far and these are just adorable. Look at this. Let's go ahead and swatch a little bit of these washi tapes. So pretty. Such a beautiful color palette. Let me get my notebook here. On the same page. Let me get um, one of these beautiful washies. These are like little, little stamps. I wonder how long until it repeats. That's always a question, right? They look like they're pretty thick. So it says, from the library of, and it's brown. Wow. So three colors. Okay, right here. So we have this much. So you have three in this really nice brown, three in these gray, and three in the white. And it looks like... They have the same icons. So it's um, from the library of, book review, currently reading, and then again it repeats, but in different colors. Beautiful. Tell me which color do you like the best? Um, let me see if I can tear it off and just put maybe a couple here on the page. They're beautiful. I love the little stamps. Little stamps are always 
my favorite. Um, they just look so vintagey, right? Let's try this next one. This is kind of like a, let's see how long it goes. Just like a multicolor tool right here. I don't know if you can catch it there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight different patterns. We have this nice like suit pinstripe. Then we have like this label, these nice yellow, golden yellow, another blue, these leaves, another one of these labels with an oval, a really pretty blue, and this like diamond pattern. Really, really nice. Let's see if we can um, put some down here. Let me get my cutter. Let's put it down to this part. Beautiful. Beautiful looking washi. Really, really nice. So here are the stars. I'm guessing the stars are probably oh, so that we can have something to rate our, um, our books, right? Five star, four star, that kind of a thing. Beautiful. Beautiful washi. Very, very nice. And my last one. And my favorite. I love a good book washi. Let's see how far it goes. I think right here. So it started about right here. So you get about that much before it repeats. And let's put a little bit of it here and get a little feel for it. I just really like these books and it does have a little bit of um, gold foil, just really tiny little accents of foil in there. So pretty, look at that. So pretty, just not overdone, just beautiful little foils and then this one that's just kind of like little pieces of label and then the little stars definitely one of my favorite items are the washi tapes so that was just great to get in this subscription box all right moving on to the bigger items so this is the book and typewriter stickers Letters, numbers, and symbols, and it does have four sheet. It does tell us that it is a matte finish. So these are just really cute. So it says typewriter letters. Here is one. Again, typewriter letters. This is like in a different color. I don't know if you can tell. And then these are book letters. Look at these, how cute. And then you have the book letters in like a different. So you have like a white and then like an off-white. And then I can show you like this. Yeah, that's better. And you have a different, you have two different fonts. Like this one's more uh, typewritery and this one is like, has a little bit more flair and vintage vibe, but you do have two different kind of whites there so those are cute great for uh, making little uh, headers right uh, titles and things like that so pretty so I'm excited to figure out what this is it says memo pad I don't think I've ever gotten a memo pad in one of my boxes so let's see what this looks like these boxes are so pretty. Well, it sounds, it feels very, very heavy. Well, not super heavy, but quality heavy is what I mean. So it looks like it's like a library card kind of a deal. Yep, that's the cover. And then we have blank. I think they gave us an idea here. It says author, title, date to do, borrower's name. Yeah, like the old books. Um, where you used to borrow them or uh, check them out of the library. 
just a really oh wow they're they're in color so these are like like a perwinkle i don't know if you can see there there's color and then there's like a yellow and then there's like a pink really pretty i didn't even realize that that wasn't white this actually when you look at it on the spine here we go purple yellow and pink really pretty really really pretty colors so that's a memo pad it's super fun right for your journals uh, these could totally be journaling cards for memory uh, keeping or whatever you want to use so fun so fun I really like the the size as well all right getting down here to one of the last items these guys are so stinking cute okay let's see what they're called these are called pocket library notebooks so two extra large pocket size notebooks it does say it's dot grid pages and lined pages oh i love it when they do lined i really as a journaler love lined notebooks line notebooks are my jam i love these look at how cute this packaging is you can just leave it on your shelf with um oh wow <laughs> look at how cute oh my gosh they are like little books no oh, i'm so excited <laughs> like look at how stinking cute these things are <gasps> they're so cute i don't want to use them oh my gosh they're so cute okay <laughs> i'm gonna start i'm gonna stop saying cute but i don't know what other word to describe them beautiful bookmark here in the same red ah, i love a lined notebook it does have the back pocket as well the pen loop beautiful oh, this feel is so 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 nice look at that and then it does have your little band here oh so so cute these things are about the size of my palm i have pretty small hands so they're pretty pretty small and this one must be the dot grid so this is like a really pretty olive color and yeah there is your dot grid let's see the page here are the bookmarks or the page marker. I don't know how you say it. And then it does have a back pocket as well as a pen loop and just a beautiful motif here. Has a little bit of gold foil. Look at this. Just putting these like on the shelf. Oh wow, it is so, so cute. I love these. I just, I still don't know <laughs> how I'm going to use them, but I'm going to use them in some special way because they're so, so cute. I would think it's, um, the beauty of using small notebooks is that you can fill them up very fast. So imagine putting, um, a collage on this side and maybe journaling on this side. Um, you don't need much, you know, to fill up these small little pages. They're super, super small. So I like these. Let me know if you like little notebooks like this. All right, last but not least, we have the Dot Grid Notebook, 192 pages. And this is an A5. It is the Buckram cover. And then it says coated cotton. So let's see what that means. Let me open it here. I'm excited to see um, this book here in person a little hard to get into this packaging okay here we go these uh came in one of the subscription boxes i think it was last december archer and olive also sent those in one of those boxes so here we go beautiful box of course just so nice you could totally store 
your uh, notebook in this and how do we get it open okay here we go it's like a little flap here here we go and here it is the a5 and it is a dot grid and it has a beautiful book on the cover in like a I don't know silver bluish bluish silver uh, embossed here and then it has this diamond and then the spine has just these beautiful leaves in that same color and then the logo the back actually has it in a very very dark like navy so pretty of course it has the band and the pen loop and then let's open it up here is the name page and all dot grid pages let's see here we go page markers beautiful page markers there and then our big big um let me see where are these here they are i guess you could put the stickers back here let's test it out so you can't put it <laughs> you can't put it with the actual sleeve let's try let's try the sleeve it's kind of you can do it without the sleeve for sure you can just fit the stickers back there it's a little tight but it does work um, or whatever other thing you want to put back there so this is the last item in the subscription box uh, I really like all the stuff that came in the subscription box I think it is a great subscription box especially if you are into books and the library thing theme I think it's all stuff that we can use over and over, especially like the stamp, uh, the washi tape, the notebook, pad, the the markers, the, the clips, um, and then of course, you know, the notebooks are just beautiful and high quality. I did wanna show you just some ideas of what kind of things you can put in these notebooks. So let me grab those notebooks and I'll be right back. This is my creative journal for the year. I'm still trying to fill it up, but I kind of grab this notebook when I want to do just, um, just fun little layouts. So this is a Archer and Olive notebook. It came in the subscription box, I believe it was last December. Um, but I really love the cafe theme. And so what I did with it, I started out just putting some, just, these are cutouts from magazines and also these are like stickers. And then I just kind of put a little cover for the year. And I started with my word of the year, my um, just what does it mean? And then I, I did some vision, I guess vision boards, you could say a vision page. So of the different things I wanted to work on, my health, my family, my home, just different cutouts that I had, different photos, um, connecting with friends and family. So these prompts are uh, just prompts that I got from Helen's Patreon page, um, just different uh, deals that we could do every day, and I just went went as creative as I could that, that day with that prompt. I really like the whole thing of doing like little cluster and then doing the journaling on the side, so I was kind of trying to use up materials that I had, stickers that I wanted to use, a lot of cutouts from magazines of, as well. 
So, I mean, you could use these kind of journals in any kind of way. I, I've used them as a journal. <laughs> Uh, so this is really really a really fun way here I'm going to show you another idea of how I've used it but this is what I did in July I haven't continued because I haven't had time but uh, it was so fun to do a month I do want to see if I can maybe do at the end of the year do some more creative journaling so that I can fill up these pages before the end of the year and have a full completed um, I kind of think I'm halfway through so maybe if I do two more months I'll be good in here um, but uh, this is particularly in olive an archer and olive journal and um, I really enjoy using it as a just a creative journal this one was the other journal that came in that subscription box with the cafe theme I did uh, not finish this one intentionally because it started to get very, very bulky, as you can see here. I started to use this as a memory journal, and so I started to add a bunch of different photos, and it just started to get super, super thick. Let's see if I can show you a day. I'm so... I'm sorry, I just, my photos <laughs> are super precious to me. And I also want to be respectful of my kids. Um, there's a lot of photos of them in here. So for example, this was like a day that I was, you know, just doing everyday things, errands, uh, organizing, watching a rom-com, uh, working on my YouTube channel, all kinds of different things. I believe I only got, yeah, I only got two months in here um, because of the bulk of all the pictures. But uh, it was fun. I just didn't like the, just that I wasn't able to accommodate or switch over. Um, my pages like I do in a happy planner so this one was really nice I did like the, the the deal that it was lined I'll show you a couple pages here so it was it is lined so I did like that but after a while it was so hard to write in here because um, because of the bulk it's just not even and so this is another another thing you could do you know write down your memories or add pictures just that it will get a little bulky so this was a very odd kind of a size i think it's like an eight an eight by eight or a ten by ten i'm not sure which one of those but it was really fun because it had lined and um and i for my standards i filled it up <laughs> just could not fit another month in here because it was going to be really hard to write. This is another idea for your journals. This is not our journal. Of, this is a graphique and I really uh, like this kind of, um, of a lined notebook but it's just an idea. So I did kind of like a collage over here and then I did use the five point journaling method from uh, believe illustrated faith sells the the stamps but it is a method um, that was designed by Laquisha um, Hall I believe is her last name so um, if you look at illustrated faith you will find these different um, stamps and so you know it just prompts you to write a scripture a quote an affirmation something you're pondering and I believe there's also a gratitude yeah there's five things yeah this one also goes with it so I did do that a couple of days and I just wanted it was kind of like um kind of like a prompt d kind of journal <laughs> I don't know if that's even a word but I did I like to to like work with prompts because sometimes you just don't know 
what to write. I mean, there's so much you could write about, right? So I do like, well, okay, I can find a scripture that I like that day. I can find a quote and, you know, just write down something I'm grateful for here. An affirmation, a quote, something I'm, I'm thinking about, and then a scripture. And uh, just pair it with some kind of a collage. This, these all came from uh, magazines and this was like a tea that I drank that day I also have another example because I started to try to do like memory keeping in here it's kind of like a this was like kind of like a try trying different things kind of a journal so in here I just wrote about my happy mail that I got and I took a picture of it and I used some stickers and this was like promotional things that came with it and then the sticker from the packaging i kind of like um i like it when you can grab different things from your day receipts and things like that so i was trying that and um i did try for a couple of, of days but it didn't i didn't continue so i'm just doing something totally different with my memory memory keeping but i did start to kind of get my feet wet in here and I really, you know, I really enjoy it. I do know that there are a lot of people that do like, um, I call this my growth book because I was just writing whatever. <laughs> uh, and, and I wanted to also write in like different um, notes. Uh, I even put here like a list, like maybe fun things I like, a verse, my wins of the day, things I've learned, prayers or questions, happy mail that I got, different uh, different happy things and delights of the day. So I did start this one in September, but this um, this journal still has about halfway to go. I'm not sure I'm gonna uh, fill it up, but it's a great journal for just trying out different things and um, just ideas for you to try if you have some notebooks that you're trying to fill up. All right, friends, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for hanging around and for coming to watch this haul. I hope it just uh, was enjoyable to see all the things in a subscription box by Archer and Olive. You can get all the information for the different subscription box from Archer and Olive. I'll leave the link. It's not a affiliate link, but if you want some information, you can find it there. I do love, if you love journals, these are great high quality journals. You can do watercoloring, you can do stamping, all kinds of things. And um, they do come in different sizes. And I hope you also were able to just get some inspiration of just things to put in your Archer and Olive notebook or in whatever notebook you're using. Um, just enjoy it. I think that's the number one thing. Uh, for me, when I start a journal, and it really is not my style or it's not you know what i really wanted to do it kind of becomes um a chore and for me i think journaling should be something we enjoy not a chore so that's what i'm always trying to find just different ideas so that i can fill up my journals with something that i really enjoy and really brings me delight all right friends uh as always if you like the video please leave it a like that always helps me out and if you have any comments or questions about any of the ideas that I shared or any of these products please leave them down below. Alright friends I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.